A lot of new digital cameras and camcorders record video in an MTS file format, so I'm going to show you how to use a program called Handbrake um, to convert it to something that iMovie will open. So uh, if you go to handbrake.fr slash downloads.php uh, on your Mac, you can go ahead and download, um, click this button right here to download the program. Once you've downloaded and installed it, it looks like this. Uh, and as soon as you open it, it's going to ask uh, what file do you want to convert. Now you can use this program to convert almost any video file format into any other video file format. So basically point it at your MTS file. I'm just choosing one here and say open. It takes a second to scan the file and figure out if it understands what the uh, file format is and so that's what it's doing right now. You can see this particular video is only six seconds long which is good for this because it's going to be quick to show you how to convert it. Um, by default, it converts, Handbrake converts things to an MP4 file format. That's good. That'll work in iMovie. Uh, if you click down here on the video tab, you want to make sure the video codec selected is H264. Um, this is the part where it's a little tricky. It wants to know what bit rate to record or to create the video at. That means how much, uh, basically it means the quality of the video and the, the file size that you'll get at the end. Um, what I'd suggest is setting an average bit rate and let's just set it to 1500 um, to make sure that uh, the video looks as best as possible. Check two pass encode and turbo first pass. You can basically leave everything else the same and this is going to work now. Uh, you can see it's going to put um, my finished file uh, on, on my desktop in a folder called convert to mp4 in a folder called converted. Um, but I can change that. I'm just going to say browse and I'll just put it right on my desktop and say save. So now it's going to put it on the desktop. It uses the same file name. Uh, as the original file, and except for instead of .mts, it's going to say .m4v, and this should work in iMovie. So I'm going to go ahead and push start, and you can see it's um, scanning the, the file again. It says right down here. It should bring up. Uh, if I just move this up. You can't see, but there's, uh, you can, well, you can see here it shows the percentage that it is done, and there's a little, just below this, I didn't select the whole area, unfortunately, but it uh, would have a little blue progress bar that'll show you it working. So it does the first pass, then it does the second pass, and then you're done, and on your desktop you'll have a file. So I'll show you that in just a second here. It's almost done. When it's done, it'll pop up a little window that says, look, I'm done. You can say OK, and you can go ahead and close Handbrake now because you're done with it. I'll close that window as well, and you can see it created a file on my desktop. So I can uh, take this file and put it in iMovie now. So if I were to open iMovie, OK, so now in iMovie I can say File, Import Movies, and I saved that video clip on my desktop, you'll remember. So I go ahead and click on my desktop. It was called... Uh, this, so there it is, .m4v, and I can tell it where to save it, and then I just say import, and you can see, even though the original was an MTS file, it is now importing the m4v file, and that is it. Now I can edit it as I wish in iMovie. Hope that helped.